Halo 2. Halo 2 was a brilliant game that incorporated many species and factions comparable to Star Wars. The game traverses through the story by introducing the factions on a level by level basis, but one in particular that I wanted to talk about today are the heretics. There has been a major detail you likely missed. The heretics are literally as their name implies, heretic to the covenant by betraying the prophet's sermons. But as it turns out, the heretics were right and that the prophets were the ones that were wrong about the fate of Halo. But anyways, let's focus in on the heretics design in the detail that you probably missed. So this relates to their armor. User Kleb Mar has pointed out that the heretic design is actually just an elite with his armor ripped off. Let's look into that. As you can see, it vaguely appears that the heretic suit is the under armor to the Covenant Elite armor, but covered in dust. And let's look even closer. On the thigh, we see that the green lights and the raised portion is consistent to the Covenant Elite outer shell. And the heretic elite has many perforations, which is indicative of attaching armor. Similarly, on the heretic torso, we see these green lights in the same position and the same preparations all over. Now, when we look at the forearm, we again see an underarmor section, but we are also introduced to these protrusions, assuming just more attachments for the armor to attach again, matching up with the Covenant Elite. The shoulder is likewise. And the foot region. The leg region is similar, however it differs a little more lower down to the foot. The back. The lower wings are attached to the holes there, but the top ones are not really attached anywhere that makes sense. But everything else is consistent to this being an under armor, the Covenant Elite armor being ripped off. There is a new addition. They have goggles and a gas mask. It appears that the heretic head is a little less detailed than the normal Covenant Elite head. And it's clear that these goggles and gas mask rig are new, not a torn down Covenant Elite armor. The Heretic Elite has the hexagons on the torso and undersuit. It's clear to me that the Heretic Elite is just an elite with the Covenant armor ripped off, exposing the under armor. It is also covered in yellow dust all over, which you may mistake as a different color, but it's dust. The, grunt, the Heretic Grunt is also similar. Actually, it's just like a repainted Covenant Grunt. The backpack being the biggest change, they also have a ton of lights added. What also bolsters this claim that the heretics have ripped off covenant armor is with the heretic banshee, it follows the same principle. The heretic banshee also appears to be stripped of its armor from the regular banshee as it follows the same concept of being dust covered, missing armor, and having exposed lights and perforations for armor to attach. Even, we get to see remnants of the purple color on the Heretic Banshee. However, it's important to note that Halo Wavepoint stated that the Heretic Banshee was an original vehicle and not a modified regular Banshee. They call the Heretic Banshee a type 26BZ ground support aircraft, which is not what a Banshee is, the regular Banshee is called. And also in the new graphics in Halo 2 Anniversary, it make it look like a different variant of the Banshee, not a repurposed regular Banshee. It's bright gold and the armor doesn't look ripped off, but I think this is a wrong interpretation because in base Halo 2, the yellow is dust, not again, not a color, it's not gold, it's dust. 
You can see the little splotches of purple underneath the original Heretic Banshee even. And in case you doubted, still after all this investigation, we actually did get affirmation that the heretics tore off their covenant armor. The art director of Halo 2, Shi Kai Wing, confirmed this in this tweet. He was responding to Kleb Mar, which says, I recently noticed that the lights and other details on the Halo 2 base elite armor line up with the one on the heretics. Were the heretics wearing an underlying base suit with the outer armor removed, or was it its own set of armor? And then Sheik Kai Wing says, Yes, this is correct. The idea was that they threw out the shell that the Covenant had that covered the armor innards as a symbol for their revolt and uprising. We thought it would be a cool visual gesture that differentiated, differentiated the factions. So there we get solid confirmation that the heretic faction have just ripped off their covenant armor shell. On the elites, we investigated the grunts and the banshees. So I hope you learned something today. And this really highlights how the heretics were desperate to scrape up any covenant equipment and perhaps disgusted by the Covenant armor to rip it off and they could start their own militia against the Prophets. If only the Arbiter realized they were right before taking out the Heretic leader. That just reminded me that Dickside actually stated that the Heretic faction in Halo 2 was also supposed to have a unique weapon, which would be the Halo CE Fuel Rod Cannon. I think it's called flat cannon in that game but yeah it behaves quite different and it's it would be older technology in halo 2 which would further reinforce that the heretics are just scraping up anything they could find and repurposing the armor that was they had previously with your death humanity's annihilation is assured your assistance was timely I am in your debt.